I'll see you in the next one. Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as if pointing away. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. That a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella. Forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Got a holder still to spin up the chamber. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. A school of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Wait, haven't I? Anyway, Rondi's place just brings back memories. Rondi always wanted his ashes scattered here. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. But just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Special delivery, gas fellas. Windbags start turning up for last call. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. It spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. The kid pockets a memento from a breaker, once the fastest man in the land. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they aim it for the kid. Picks up a few pointers from a dusty old tome. He's a mighty fast learner. He finds the distillery, right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid will feel like a new man. Arsenals where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. An old 
ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. Takes a chunk of alloy. The smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbags. Kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Kid puts him out of his misery. Robs a scumbag of his last meal. Finds the core to the wharf district. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. See that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Kid just keeps running. Somersault like crazy. Well, down he goes. Down toward the bastion. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. We talk for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there. Then watch. Some things just ain't meant for this world, but who are we to judge? And just like that, the bastion comes alive. Starts growing again, growing stronger. Kids gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Kid ponders what to build. The Bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. The power of the Calamity ain't well understood, but a hammer sure is. Kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. 